there are no coincidences. God is real. Today I lost my friend and mentor and teacher, Dr. Stephen Kimoto Karanja. And Kenya lost, and his beautiful wife and family and children lost. But I don't really have time to eulogize him on their behalf today, and I'm not qualified to do so. But this was my best friend in Kenya and in Africa and mentor. There are no coincidences. 25 years ago today, April 29th, I lost my grandfather, who, like Dr. Karanja, believed in the Roman Catholic faith. Me, I'm not a Roman Catholic, but I confess the Nicene Creed. I confess the Apostles' Creed. I confess the Athanasian Creed. And I worked hand in hand with Dr. Stephen Kimoto Karanja for years, and especially for the past six weeks on a daily basis up till 10 days ago when he was hospitalized. And I can bear witness that he was, and his wife, I'm sure, will verify this, that he was not going to bed before 1.30 in the morning, nine days out of ten, because of the love that he has for life, for people made in the image of God, for Kenya, his native country, for Kikuyus, and for all Kenyans, and for Africa. To warn people, sacrificing himself to warn people, and even as during the day he was ministering to, medically, spiritually, and as a friend and helper and teacher, people who were struggling in the middle of this genocide known as COVID-19 or coronavirus, this eugenicide, that is genocide that is being perpetrated by eugenicists. A word that Dr. Karanja used a lot. I don't have time. It would take years for me to go through exhaustively his teachings and what I've learned from him. But there's one thing as I was reviewing the interview I did with him two months ago. And I will put the links to that interview, uh, which is in three parts because it's about two hours long. So I've cut it into three parts. There's one thing that I realized that he told me and I have to obey him. And so I'm obeying him now because I didn't want to say anything because I'm too timid. But in that interview, if you listen to it, you will see Dr. Karanja directly says Jonathan, he, which is my name. He accuses me of being too polite. And he tells me that when people are killed or assassinated, like Malcolm X was assassinated, like Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, like all the babies, he says, who were killed by abortion have been assassinated by Marie Stopes. He tells me it is not my prerogative to demand the kind of evidence that would be required in a criminal trial. Are you hearing me? By the way, another coincidence, you can see that I'm in the forest, as a side note, but it's important. Not only today did Dr. Karanja go to be with the Lord, and we're all going to face the Lord, but, and 25 years ago today, uh, my grandfather, who was also a Roman Catholic, who believed as Dr. Karanja believes, and I know they are good friends now or very soon, went to be with the Lord exactly 25 years ago today. Not only those two coincidences, but I've already told you there are no coincidences. So not only those two, uh, what shall we call them, things that through the grace of God and his sovereign wisdom have coincided not randomly, but according to providence. The third is the fact that this forest that you see me in is the Wachita National Forest, where I was born. And you might think that I'm very often in the forest where I was born. That is not true. 
It's only every five to ten years, on average, that I have been in this forest. So today, I'm in the forest where I was born in Hot Springs, Arkansas, in the middle of this huge forest. And once again, I'm here. On the day my grandfather died, on the day my mentor, friend, and teacher passed away, like my grandfather, and went to be with the Lord, he was assassinated. He was speaking against the vaccine cartels. Are you hearing me? On a daily basis. He went on the uh, German, European uh, version of RFK Jr., who also knows something about assassination. He went on his, uh, on the German Children's Health Defense and was interviewed maybe two and a half weeks ago about the genocide being perpetrated on the earth through these vaccines. And he told the truth. And on a daily basis, he was trashing and exposing the World Health Organization for the fraud that they are. And Bill Gates and the people capitulating and collaborating in Africa and in the medical community for the fraud that they are and defending his people. I believe he was assassinated. Do I have direct proof? No, but listen to the interview that I did two months ago with Dr. Karanja, and we talked about assassination. And he told me his criteria, and he instructed me to use his criteria and to repent of my timidity and my over-politeness. So I'm doing so now. As I travel to Texas, I've stopped in my native land where I was born in the Wachita National Forest to tell you Dr. Stephen Kimotho Karanja told the world, he told Kenya, he told Africa, he told the entire earth the truth about abortion genocide. And he told us we're going to have to fight and shed the blood of those who are murdering God's children and defend ourselves. Because Christians and Catholics, me, I'm an Orthodox Christian, but Christianity is not characterized by, we don't evangelize. We're not characterized by violence. We don't evangelize at the point of a sword. But oh, we are not pacifists. And our Jesus, our Lord Jesus, is not a pacifist. We do, although we do not evangelize with the sword. And those who live by the sword will die by the sword. Nonetheless, Jesus commanded very clearly, take swords. In the book of Luke, the gospel, according to St. Luke, the Hippocratic physician, who would never give a coil or an abortifacient or contraceptive. St. Luke, the physician, records, take swords. Jesus said, take swords, not to stop him from being crucified. No, he told them very clearly, the Son of Man must be crucified and go to Jerusalem, but to protect and not to spread the gospel through the sword. No, we do not do that. But to defend the innocent, yes, the crusaders, the knights hospitallers. Christian men throughout history. Paul Jennings Hill, who killed an abortionist. James Cop, who defended unborn babies, used the sword. And do not kid yourself. Listen to what Dr. Karanja says. I am not exaggerating. The sword will be necessary to stop this genocide. And girls are not qualified. Women are not qualified. Men have to stand up and imitate Dr. Stephen Kimotho Karanja, like President Magufuli of Tanzania, a martyr for the truth and for the word of God who sacrificed his life so that you would have the opportunity to fight back against those who have attacked you and attacked your children and attacked humanity and attacked the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and his law. Listen, 
not to me, but to the words of Dr. Stephen Kimoto Karanja. I will link them. You can go to my YouTube site, but never mind that, they will take it down. <laughs> They're about to take it down now. You can go to my Brighteon site by going to www.jonathanotool.com. That's J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N-O-T-O-O-L-E.com. And if you want to... Dr. Karanja was the chairman of the Kenya Catholic Doctors Association. And if you want to download the PDF of the advisory... <clears throat> pardon me, the, the advisory that they officially issued about uh, coronavirus and COVID-19, which I am certain is the reason why he was assassinated. That's right, assassinated. I'm saying it because Dr. Karanja, may he rest in peace in hope of glory and eternal life to return with the Lord in vengeance to judge the living and the dead. He told me, to say this. So I'm doing it not because I want to be seen or heard, but because he told me. Assassinated. Honor him by imitating him. The way the early Christians imitated the apostles and disciples of Jesus Christ when they were martyred and killed. Thank you. May God bless you and God give you power as you Ask him for the strength to defend his children, yes, with force, because they are being attacked by force. And the time for talking is over.